Hello and welcome to the second part of uh, SCL with Laravel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can limit uh, any controller from uh, accessing based on the user type. You know, if a user type is user, they should not have access to certain area in the controller. For example, they should not be able to delete something. For now, our current user admin three, the user type is admin. So basically, I will just change it here to a standard user for now and we just update it so this is the NS standard user what i want to do is now he can delete any user he wants so let's uh, try one let's try this loo and if i delete this one yes it did delete that so what i am going to do is i am going to inspect element here and i will come to the network tab and this time i am going to limit this user from deleting if i come to the controller you know our user controller is here and all the way down we have a store we have update profile we have show we have update and here is the destroy i will just do for the destroy the other the other one you can do of course here is the destroy what i'm going to do is uh, if you go to level documentation oops here you know you can use the helper in the in your controller the helper name is authorize you can use the authorize you don't need to import anything on the at the top you can just say this authorize and then the key you specify the keys is admin otherwise it will just throw an error for now we don't need to pass the second parameter because we are not comparing to any post so this is what we are going to do we say if the current user is authorized do this one otherwise it will just send an error to um, to the user here this time if i want to delete the current user what will happen let's say we want to delete the test user here if i click on the delete yes it send the request yeah it will just come with uh 403 and it will fail and there was something wrong it will show something like this so i will say okay and here is the error that yeah this action is unauthorized so the current user cannot delete anything now because the user type here is user that's why so let's change it back to make sure that this is working when you are an admin update this one okay you can give a proper error handling of course uh, for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this uh, progress me if i click on the delete yes it successfully delete that one yeah because the user type is admin so basically this video is short this is how you can uh, limit them based on the controller from here now everything is set up like you know how to do this one how to hide something in the front end how to hide something from the back end controller and plus you have the ability to do all of those stuff in the middleware for example if someone is going to send a post request a uh, put request to this this one you can write the authorization uh, in using your middleware here so for us of course i write these things in controller if you want this one to be applied for all user what you can do is for all these functions you can write them in the constructor of course if i come all the way down here you know this is for destroy if you copy this one and come all the way up here and just write it here now what it is going to do it is going to check that user is authenticated and the user type is admin and it will affect for all functions you have here this is basically that much simple so i will just remove it for now from here just to make sure everything is working just fine so i hope it has been informative for you but there are so many things you can learn uh, of course the remaining part is here is still user have access to this portion of the, the area still if i go to developer they have access to de developer why because we do not have any controller for this one what is the controller for this one we use vue.js uh, component to view, view, view router for displaying this stuff for management if i go here yeah if i go again for the user and just mm, once again i will just change the type to standard user yes and i will refresh the page now we do not have access to developer and but if you go from the url you have access this can be done using javascript so this portion is a little tricky 
like uh, maybe you do not find something like this around the internet it is not going to be in laravel documentation but in the next video i will show you how you can fix this problem like even if you uh, are sending a request to a url like this it should be based on user authenticated and it should display an error or they should display that you do not have access to this area of our application you know we can hide it from here yeah we have already hide it from here but the current user if they write something in the url it should not happen because we do not have any routing let me show you what i mean and if you understood it is fine but if i go to the route api you know we have the routing like this one but we do not have any routing for let's say it is the routes are all in the api these are just api routes and we cannot limit them from here so we, even if you can limit them it is going to give them an error let's say for example try it if i just say that the user if someone is going to send an http request to the user it should be limited and it should not return any data of course i can do that one this is the index one and i will come here and paste the code and say authorize you should be authorized to access this part of the information now this this function is not accessible anymore i mean if some any component from vue.js send a request to the index function to get this information they will not have access so if i refresh the page going to the network tab they send the http request it is on pending and yeah it will throw a 403 error this action is unauthorized of course it is unauthorized because the current user is an external user and they do not have access to this area of our application so what we can do is we we see the table here but there is no way to say that tell the user that this portion of the area in this database the the thing is like you are unauthorized or we just show 404 page instead of the table and this is what we are going to fix in the next video i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video because this part of the course is very important for anyone to understand like uh, i i myself have struggled when i was developing applications how to limit user in the javascript part so i hope i can just make it a little shorter for you and i will try to make it easy easy to understand so thank you for watching and see you in the next video